Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and I am back from vacation which means we have a massive amount of content as well as streams coming for you guys very very soon but if you're watching this video right when it goes live, um, I want to say Happy New Year's Eve to you guys. I hope you guys are ready for 2020 and hope you had a great 2019 and if you didn't, I hope 2020 is better for you. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the truck that we're dealing with today which is if any of y'all have watched Roadkill... You guys know Stubby Bob. Now, Stubby Bob is basically a Ford that they shortened and pretty much cut the frame, shortened it up, and then put an engine in the back so it could do wheelies. Now, with that being said, we have two versions. We have a kind of restored and painted one, and we have a rusty one. Now, we're testing them at Small 19's Ledge View map, and I'm going to set off in the rusty one first so we can see what it's about, and then I'm going to go over to the new one and kind of walk you guys through um, all the upgrades that you can do and sort of the general idea of what this truck is all about. So, with that being said, let's head to the garage. Well, I'll take this one to the garage, and first of all, See what kind of upgrades we can get our hands on. So we have one up at the top, which is... Oh. Okay. Oh, God. So you can technically pull stuff with it if you wanted to. Definitely gonna put the... Oh, my God. That is... That is one. Hell of an engine. Okay. All right. Uh, F-150 trunk stuff is not what we're interested in. Um, 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 um. That's not okay. All right. We're gonna take that off. Let's see. Fuel trailer... Garage cart, garage parts, which also shouldn't be there. Rust scoop, which is definitely going on. Oh, I see. So you can do the rust scoop or a normal scoop. And that just kind of depends on your personal preference. Since this is the rusty one, I'm just going to go ahead and put the rust scoop on it. And you can also do a scout trailer, short long trailer. Uh, you can actually put a truck bed on it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, utility attachment. So technically all this stuff could go in the... Wait. Wait. What? Wheelie is like, is a mod or an upgrade technically, so I'm gonna just go ahead and- Oh! Oh god! Alright, that just puts a crap ton of weight on the back end of the truck. Alright, well, with that having been installed- Oh jeez, holy crap, it rolls a lot of coal, which is funny because it's technically not a diesel, but minor details! We gloss over it. So, oh jeez, alright, hang on. Oh, it, 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 oh, it wheelies way too easily. Oh, yep, there it goes! Um, oh, um, it's, uh, it, <laughs> it, uh, we're sort of stuck. Yeah, we're a bit, um, uh, <laughs> what? It's walking. Oh, de oh, dear. So we can actually, like, you could actually technically mess it up. Okay. So how about I turn all wheels off? Well, no, all wheels off, diff lock on, and oh come on, it won't go. Wait, wait a second. Whoa, it won't go in rear wheel drive. That's so weird. So you have to have all wheel drive on to do this. That's a very odd setup. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're stuck now. It's literally already going bad. It's already going very bad. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take it around the racetrack. And we might have to take the wheelie thing off. But taking it around the racetrack with the wheelie thing installed is going to make it a whole hell of a lot more fun. So, I'm going to uninstall the, the wheelie attachment. I don't even know what it is. Like, I don't even know what it attaches to. It just, like, modifies the chassis of the truck. It's weird. Or not necessarily the chassis, but the weight distribution of the truck. So, leaving it in automatic mode. God, it just, it's just absolutely belching out the exhaust. Oh, God, don't hit. Never mind. I have damage off, so it doesn't really matter, but this thing kind of drives weird. I gotta admit, it ah, it drives a little funky. The interior's not too bad. I mean, it's a little blocky, but it's not awful. It's definitely not awful. All right. So now that we're back at the track, I'm gonna reinstall the wheelie upgrade. 
and see what happens when we try to take this thing around the track. Let's go. So it works better if you leave it in auto mode. Oh, it hates jumps. Oh, my God. Yep, if you... Oh, my God. Okay, you have to keep the front end down. Otherwise, it's, uh... Screwed. Completely and utterly screwed. Pull, maybe? Yes? Oh, my God, it can't... You can't save it. Yep, there you go. Yes, you can. Okay, I wasn't sure if you could save it or not. Like... Because once that back end is actually in the ground, it's really hard to correct it again. Alright, can we do this? Oh, this is really difficult. This is one of the most difficult things I've ever done uh, in, in Mudrunner, actually. You have to, like... Uh-oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah. So there's that. What about the restored one? Let's see. Where's the engine? Okay, engine. Non-rusty scoop. And we're not going to install the wheelie option. And let's see what this thing is like. Is it even fast? Because just because it can wheelie doesn't mean it's fast. Doesn't mean it's anywhere close to fast. By the way, if you guys have anywhere where you would like me to take this thing, leave those suggestions in the comment section down below, and I will totally, uh, I will totally take it wherever you guys suggest, because I am very open to suggestions regarding this thing, because I'm sure we can get into lots of crazy situations with it. The crazy part is, it's not that fast. I mean... So you can make it rear-wheel drive, and it'll go if you don't have the wheelie part installed. Okay, that's interesting. So if we put it in high, and then turn all wheels off, it'll go in rear-wheel drive. It'll go. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's too front-heavy if you... It's too rear heavy if you take it off the jump with the wheelie part installed, and it's too front heavy if you take it off the jump with the wheelie part uninstalled. So technically, this truck is just flawed whatever way you look at it. It's just, it's just off. It's just wrong, whichever way you use it. Let's see if this is easier to fix than the, like, than, than basically putting the rear of it in the ground. Almost. Okay, yeah, no, that's easy to fix. That's easy to... Hello. All right. Free cam. Okay. Behave. Yeah, that's easy to fix. The other one, not as easy to fix. I mean, it's fixable, but not as easy. All right, let's see if I just keep it in fifth and keep it floored. Let's see if it can survive this jump. Barely. Stays in fifth, but it, I mean, it barely kept the front end out of the ground. There's a lot of give in that front suspension. I mean... You need give in a setup like this, but maybe not that much give. Now, I do understand, though, that this thing is designed completely and utterly around doing a wheelie, so the fact that it has a crap ton of give makes sense to me, but does it really need that much? I mean, the whole front end wants to dive into the ground every time it lands. So, I mean, it's... On the small jumps, it does pretty well, but if you try to take this thing on anything bigger, like, oh my god, you'd be in for a horrible awakening because... It will stab the front end of the ground, and then you'll kind of be out of luck. Like, there's nothing more you can really do at that point. Let's see. And since we pretty much have determined already how it does on the track, I have one more test that I'm... Oh, I forgot there was barriers here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to recover into the garage. Because I forgot there was barriers, because I forget things sometimes. Just for the, like, just for the hell of it, let's see how this thing flexes. Because I know it's not made for that, but let's see if it can do this little flex obstacle. Low 3 is actually very slow. Okay, I mean, like... Because the suspension is pretty soft, you could actually kind of do little flexes. Nothing crazy. I Wow, I messed that up. Holy cow, I messed that up. 
I don't think I've ever messed that up that badly before, but it still drove out of it, which is the advantage of having the dualies in the back. But it really is a hilarious little truck, and do I recommend giving it a shot? Yeah, I mean, like, why not? It's, it's hilarious fun, and I definitely think you guys should give it a shot. Is it gonna be, like, functionally good at anything? Probably not. But, are you going to get a laugh out of it? Absolutely. So I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a like. Let me know in the comments below if any thoughts and suggestions you have. And click that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of new videos and live streams. And I'll see you all again soon. Talk to you guys later.